So that is one way that you're able to use um, our Thrive Online tool is to be able to really get behind some of the additional learning needs or SEN that young people might have and look at it through um, an emotional development lens, which then uh, you're able to finely tune to find out where children and young people's needs might be and then have something to supplement their learning journey further forward. That's really, it's really interesting. You can get that happening across your trust. Yeah, I, I think as I think as well. We, we, just if you're thinking about the, the, using the profiling, um, that we start with the 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 right time. So we we start with all our children and and profile all our children within within the school. And for me, particularly around emotional needs and mental health needs, sometimes we miss those in our children. Sometimes, and 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 we talk. I mean, I I, I can't find it. So if you've got a better way of, of of describing the children who who I describe as the wallpaper children, when you write your class list and mm -hmm. um you get to you've got thirty in your class and you get to number twenty seven and you have to think right who's twenty eight and who's twenty nine and who's thirty, mm -hmm. um. It's it's those children who who are always doing what 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 is expected, and they're there at the right time. They've always got the pencil case. They've always got their equipment, their tool, etc. But actually, for me, one of the powers of the profiling is that we can actually not we can pick up those children as well, um, and pick up their emotional needs because they've managed to to to. We don't want them to slip through the net. Yeah. 